Hey everyone, today I will be comparing the ball bearing assemblies and the stock connects assemblies on these two tracks here. So as you can see, both tracks have a steep descent and a gradual ascent. I'll be putting both of the cars through each track and then recording how far they go up here just to show you a give you a speed loss comparison between the two. Uh, with the ball bearings, I'll be also doing some ceramic bearings on top, but I'm leaving them dry, as that's what I've been doing with the Connects roller coasters and my roller coaster, which uses the same kind of bearings. For the Connects car, which I'm calling just the stock car, I will be putting uh, batteries on it to give it some extra weight and then adding some oil to the top road wheels and then I'm also going to be trying some graphite and maybe one other thing just to see how good those will be compared to the ball bearings assemblies so uh, I'm just going to be showing you various clips and giving you the description of each of the cars as they go down and then at the end we'll have a comparison uh, between the two and to make sure that all of the drops happen from the same height I have made these stoppers here. I won't push it down right now, but it'll keep the height of all the cars the same. It's attached to a string which I can pull from over here and then drop. So I will drop the ball bearing one right now on the yellow track. Just as a little preview so all the cars be able to drop from the same height there so let's get to comparing them first drop is the stock connects car nothing to it on the green track now we'll do the connect stock on the yellow track with the added helix to see how well it maintains its speed. Next one we'll try here is some extra weight on the stock connects car with the plastic wheels. Nothing done to the wheels but just some extra weight. Next, I'm going to take off the weight and disassemble the wheel assemblies and add some oil to these top road wheels here. Now what I'm going to do is get some of this pretty fine oil that's used for bearings and yo-yos and other fine stuff and just put just a tad on each axle, hoping that it won't clog it up. Because the oil seemed to work quite well in improving just your basic plastic wheels, just on only these top wheels, I'm going to add weight to these and compare that. Now I'm going to take off the road wheels here and Place them with some new wheels and this time I'm going to be putting some graphite on the axle, pin, whatever you want to call it. And that's just from a typical pencil. I've never seen anyone do this but I'm curious to see if this will improve them. So let's get to it. Graphite with some weight. Next we got the ball bearing on the green track. Look 
little better. Next, I changed out two of the road wheels up front. They're fully ceramic bearings. They're pretty expensive, so I only bought two of them, but let's see if just two of them will affect how high they go compared to the regular bearings. Alright, doing some quick math here and figuring out the percentage of how high it went back up. Um, each car had a starting height of 29 inches and we figured out the ending height there. So we figured out the percentage of how high the it reached back up to this, that hill. So a quick wrap up of these two. You're going to be able to maintain your speed better with bearing assemblies. This is going to be able to make your roller coasters longer because you're going to be able to have taller elements after elements, which is always a nice thing. So you're probably going to be able to make more realistic roller coasters. One downside that I see is that dust and whatnot can collect more in these bearings than, than here. There's not huge spaces between the axle and the wheels so this might be better for outdoor applications different things where your elements just affect your wheels more um, for me it hasn't really affected much I always put the better bearings on the top and the worst bearings on the bottom so actually that looks like what I did there that one doesn't spin very well and that one does didn't really find a difference in the, I didn't really find a difference in the performance between the ceramic and the metal, so you can rest assured that just by the metal bearings, unless you are doing it in some application where they're gonna get wet, you're gonna rest these bearings, so you could get ceramic, but these ceramic bearings are probably six to eight times more expensive than your metal bearings so metal bearings way to go for sure on here i was impressed with the oil on the plastic wheels so that's definitely what you'd want to do if you're going to stick with your plastic wheels weight increased the performance of both of these on the straight track where everything was held pretty solid um, you can maintain your speed better. The only thing is is when you have turns that aren't supported well and the track flexes, like the Helix track, you're gonna have worse performance when you have weight. So take what you will from this video. Weight helps in certain cases, um, but overall the bearings perform a decent amount better and you're gonna be able to build bigger roller coasters. So. If you'd like to see a video on how to assemble these bearings and the files from Thingiverse where I put them, um, there will be a link in description. And there's one more video coming where I show you how I clean these bearings. So thanks for sticking along and have a good one.